So tomorrow, you're probably going to have a substitute teacher. So I'm going to, after period two, I'm going to video tomorrow's lesson so you guys can watch it. So you can either watch it on your own or somebody can hook it up to the smart board and you guys can watch it tomorrow. Anyway, there's going to be another quiz on Monday. On what section are we doing now? 8.4. So there are three different kinds of problems on last night's homework. But I have one of each. And then tonight's homework is you're doing proofs, more proofs. And you probably have one of those, so you don't have four problems. Okay, questions on last night's homework. Shout them up. What? Nine. Nine, ten. Twenty-three. Forty-three. Wait, nineteen. 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 Twenty-three. Twenty. Twenty-three, not forty-three. Twenty-three. Yeah. Speak up, good. Well, let's make sure we do one of each type of problem, because that's what you're going to see in the quiz. What are we on now? Eight point four. And I did one example last time, did you guys forget how to do it? Okay, 21 through 29 odd. Okay, you might have two of these. Okay, let's do 20. I assigned number 20. No. No, it's up here. It's up there already, though. 23 then. Okay, have, have we started memorizing these identities? Yeah. Because they gotta, they gotta be memorized by Monday, you know. Otherwise it could be painful. Okay, so you look at this, you're supposed to go, hey, you somebody. This is the identity for, is this a cosine or the sine one? The cosine one. And what sign goes in between, plus or minus? Plus, because with the cosine one, if that's minus, that was plus. Yeah, but you're only going to learn it if you actually sit down and grind out these homework problems. You're not, you're not going to just suddenly have an epiphany, you know. Okay, and what is 70 plus 20? 90. And is that an angle I'm supposed to know for cosine? Yeah, so what's cosine of 90 degrees? Now, if you have to draw the unit circle to figure it out, then do it. 90 degrees is right there. What is the x coordinate of that point? Zero. Zero. There's your answer. So you've got to recognize that identity. Okay. In fact, you know what? I'm going to have two or three of these. Because these, are just you just got to recognize the identities. How come that, out of all of them, how come that one was the hard, toughest? How come you guys didn't have problems on 25, 27, 29? That's bizarre. Okay, number 19. How come we're doing 23 first? Okay, number 19. This is the other kind of problem. Secant of negative pi over 12. Now, I pro on the quiz, I'm probably only going to give you sine, cosine, or tangent. In fact, I will. I'm not going to give you secant. Well, to figure out the secant of negative pi over 12, what you do is you compute the cosine of negative pi over 12, and then Reciprocatize it, right? Because isn't secant the reciprocal of cosine? Okay, so find cosine. So on the on the quiz, I'm just I won't give you this. I'll give you that. Okay, now you got to know something. What is cosine of negative pi over twelve? Remember the identity the identity sheet? Yeah. Cosine of negative theta is equal to is it cosine theta or negative cosine theta? Cosine. It's cosine theta. Okay. And then now, can you think of two angles when e either added or subtracted will give you pi over 12, or if you want to convert it to degrees, 15 degrees? In fact, this is the example we did last time, right? This is 15 degrees if you want to convert it to degrees. <coughs> 45 minus 30? Or you want to go 60 minus 45? Or you want to go 135 minus 120? All of them work, you know. Stick with small numbers. Yeah, let's stick with 45 minus 30. Okay, so 
So now you gotta know your identity. What is the identity of cosine of gorilla minus banana? Cosine of the first, cosine of the second, plus or minus? Oh, plus. Plus, right? That's minus, that's plus. Sine, sine of, of the first, cosine. sine of the second, and then all you have to do is put in the values. I'm just gonna put them in real fast to save time. Root two over two, root three over two, root two over two, one half. Can you guys do that? Or it takes a while. So root six over four, root two over four. So root six plus root two all over four. That looks like the same answer we had last time. Okay, but that's cosine of pi over 12. We now we gotta flip it over. So the answer for this problem is four over root six plus root two. Like that. And then how do you simplify that when you have radicals in the denominator? Multiply top and bottom by a conjugate. Okay, so you're gonna have four times root six minus root two. You don't want to distribute it because you're hoping to cancel stuff. That's what you're hoping. And then what happens when you multiply this plus this times this minus this? You're gonna get six minus two which is, rhymes with more, four. four. Oh, the fours cancel out. And so your final answer is just root six minus root two. Okay, so we have, you know what, might have more than one. I think, I think we'll have two of these, uh, sine, cosine, or tangent, and we'll have two of these, and then we'll have one or two proofs, that's what I think. But I have to sit down and make it. Yeah, anyway, it's going to be just like the homework, and then no, there will not, not be a practice quiz. Just just do these problems, you'll be fine. Are you sure that's all? Well, everybody here could do 31 to 35? No. Then how come it's not up here then? 33. Okay, th those are the three examples I gave you guys last time, because those are the three different types of problems you saw. Okay, let's do 33 then. Okay, you're going to have one or two of these. Oh, man. Okay, so tangent alpha is equal to negative four-thirds, and alpha is between, so this is the one you have to draw the triangle in the proper quadrant now. Cosine beta is equal to, oh, you gotta do lots of stuff here. Half, and beta is between zero and pi over two. Okay, so the first thing you do is draw the triangles in the proper quadrant, so alpha. If you are between pi over 2 and pi, what quadrant is that? Oh, here's 0, here's pi over 2, here's pi. Second quadrant, so you draw your triangle in the second quadrant. And tangent is what? Opposite over adjacent. So if you need to write sokatoa on your paper to keep everything straight, then do it. You don't want to make a simple mistake, that's why. And then you need the signs. What, what sign do I put in this one? Yeah, because you've got to go to the left, and then you go up, so it's positive. And the hypotenuse is always positive, right? 3, 4, 5. And then for beta, what quadrant is that? Well, duh, that's first quadrant, right? Don't worry, I'm not going to give first quadrant. It's too easy, that's why. Okay, so cosine of beta. So cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And then using the Pythagorean theorem, that's radical three. And then see, because first quadrant, everything's positive, right? So you don't even have to worry about anything. Okay, now it says, what do we have to find in this problem 33? It says find the exact value of each of the following. A, sine of alpha plus beta. B, cosine of alpha plus beta. C, sine of alpha minus beta, and d, a, tangent of alpha minus beta. Okay, I'll just do a couple of these. Because they're all, once you draw these triangles, it's like it's like easy. Which one do you want me to do? A or B? In fact, A, B, or C. A, B, or C are like all the same to me. Okay, A. So what's the identity for sine of alpha plus beta? So that's the first thing, you gotta have it memorized. Sine of the first, Cosine of the second, plus or minus? Plus. plus. 
cosine of the first and the sine of the second. And then all you have to do now is fill in all these values just by looking at those triangles right there. So here, just do this. Okay, alpha. Here's alpha. What is the sine of this angle? Opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine of beta. Okay, here's beta. What's cosine of this angle? Adjacent over hypotenuse. Cosine of alpha. Here's alpha. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And sine of beta. Here's beta. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So all you do is draw a triangle and then you soak the dough off. And then now uh, let's compute this. What is that? 4 over 10 minus 3 root 3 over 10. So since they have the same denominator, 4 minus 3 root 3 all over 10. There's your answer. Okay, now let's do D. I'll, I'll do it over here. D is tangent of alpha minus beta. Okay, what's the identity for that? Have, have, have we, do we have it memorized yet? Tangent alpha minus tangent. Some people have it memorized. Beta all over. One what are you guys going to wait for? Monday morning. And then once we learn all the identities, which is going to be in a couple days, then we're going to have a speed quiz on all the identities, the whole identity. Just the, that should be fun. Like, like this, like write out the identities? Or yeah, it's going to be like this. This equals, and then blank, and then you fill this in right there. Oh. Then, yeah, so just regurgitate like that. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay, so all you got to do is look at the, the picture right here. Okay, so here's alpha. What is tangent alpha? Opposite over adjacent. Negative 4 thirds. So this one is negative 4 thirds too, right? And then tangent of beta. Okay, here's beta. Ta what is tangent? Opposite over adjacent. Radical 3 over 1, right? So just radical 3. See, if you do that, you're probably going to get, like, if this problem is worth 4 points, probably give you 3 out of 4 right there. And then can you simplify that? And again, you have fractions within fractions. What's the fastest way to simplify that? Multiply top and bottom by, which is 3. So multiply top and bottom by 3. So you got to distribute now. 3 times this, the 3's cancel out, so you get negative 4. 3 times, oh, this is a minus 4. 3 times this is 3 root 3. 3 times this is 3, minus. 3 times this, trees cancel out, and you get 4 root 3. And I might give you credit for that, but probably not. So we need to multiply by the conjugate. 3 plus 4 root 3. What do you want? What do you think? Should I give you credit for this one right here? What? We don't know how to do conjugate. We know how to do that. You wish you guys Okay, so the denominator going to be 9 minus, what is 4 root 3 squared? 16 times 3, 48. And then on the top, you got a foil. So first, outside, minus 16 root 3. Inside, minus 9 root 3. And then last, what is 3 root 3 times 4 root 3? That's going to be 12 times 3, 36. So what does that come out to? Negative 48 minus 25 root 3 all over negative 39. Yikes, that's horrid. And then if you want to, you don't have to. Multiply top and bottom by negative 1 because it looks prettier this way. Yeah? Isn't it easier on the eyes to look at that than that? Because yeah. who wants to see something with all negative numbers? Not me. Whatever, okay, you know what? I will let you leave the answer like that. Or, okay, I tell you what, if I want you to multiply by the conjugate, I'll tell you in the problem. I would say simplify by rationalizing the denominator, but I probably won't. Okay, so those are all the, those are the three kinds of problems I showed you last time, right? I'm just gonna practice it. Okay, now tonight's homework, you're gonna do proofs using these identities. 
So you know what? I'll just do a couple of them. For example, we can finish a little early. Oh yeah, we're gonna finish early, man. All right. Just when you thought you were done with proofs, yeah? No, we're just beginning. We're just beginning. Okay, I'm gonna do some even ones then. Okay, so this is 46 in your book. Oh, gosh, I thought I had it memorized. Cosine of pi over 2 plus theta. Prove that this is equal to sine of pi over 2 plus theta. Prove that this is equal to sine theta. See, on the math team, we just have these memorized already. But most people, they don't have a memorized so You gotta do the proof. So, how do you do a proof? You make the bar. Okay, which side can you actually do something to? The left side, right? Because you have cosine of something plus something. Hey, that's the stuff we're learning, Mr. Park. That's right, so now you have a second night to help you memorize these identities. So what's the identity of cosine of something plus something? Um, cosine of the first. Cosine of the second. Plus or minus? Minus. Minus. The sine of the first and the sine of the second. There you go. See, that's what you got to do. You got to memorize these things. And A, this is a number I know. Cosine pi over 2. Okay, let me draw the unit circle. <laughs> pi over 2 is right here, man. What's the coordinates of this point up here? 0, 1. So what's cosine of pi over 2? 0. This is 0. What is sine of pi one. over 2? It's the y coordinate right there. 1. 1. So what is 0 times this minus 1 times that? But what am I doing? That's supposed to be a negative. <laughs> negative side game. Fuck you. I can't believe I oh, oh, it's right there in the book. I just missed it. That's what happens when you get older. Okay, so look, look, pretty easy yeah, to proof. Yeah, and you know what the hardest part is? You gotta memorize that identity. Some of you still haven't. Uh, don't worry, Mr. Park. Monday morning I get it. Okay, and then let's look at one where you gotta like. What is tonight's homework anyway? Um, 45. Okay, what are we doing? 8.4, 8. 35, 37. 46, 45. 55, 56, 57. Let's do 58 then. Yeah, I'll do 50. Nah, nothing now. No. What? Now I want you to do it. That's why. Do I have 57, 58? Yeah. No, I have 57, 59. Okay, I'll do 58 then. I don't want to do the same one as the homework. Alpha plus beta all over cosine alpha cosine beta. I'll try to copy it correctly this time. Tangent alpha plus tangent beta. Okay, so prove this. Make the bar. Okay, now which side can I actually do something to? Um, well, actually, you can do it to, to both, right? Because yeah. what do you do when, when you do a proof? If you get stuff, change everything to sines and cosines, right? So, like this one, you can change it to sine over cosine, sine over cosine. And then when you add fractions, what do you do? Just like today's quiz. You make least common denominator. What goes on the top then? Sine A. How come you guys saying A? Sine alpha. Cosine beta plus sine beta cosine alpha, correct? See, all you did is change everything to sines and cosines and make a least common denominator. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay, now what about the left side? What, do you, what, what can you do with the left? Well, apply the identity. What is the identity for sine of alpha plus beta? Sine of the first, cosine of the second, plus or minus? Plus, no, if it's sine, it's, if that's plus, this is plus. Cosine of the first, sine of the second, over this critter. And then, hey, look, it's the same thing. So QED already. Get it. Yeah, but it's the same techniques we've been using, right? Change everything to sine and cosine, make the least common denominator. Apply the identity, boom, comes out just like eating oatmeal, right? What? 
right? You eat oatmeal and it comes up somehow. Okay, so tonight's homework, it, look, it looks pretty easy to me, but you just gotta practice memorizing these events. Hopefully, you don't have to look at the identity sheet after a while. Okay, I'm gonna let you use the rest of the time, which is 20 minutes. Hey, you can finish tonight's homework. Okay, so after I teach period two, I'm going to video tomorrow's lecture. And, and no, I'm going to do some of the problems on the homework and video the lecture because, like I said, I probably do that in the tomorrow. So. What's up, you, you guys in this comment? Taco de Follies, right? Oh. It's next week, Thursday. we got to practice. We don't want the show to be just like junk, right? <laughs> you guys are paying good money. <laughs>